Howdy YouTube and welcome to a video by the Unlucky Lads. This will detail the raid intel skips and black box locations on critical, regular and low for the raid starting on the 15th of October running through to the 21st of October which is Project Titan Week 256. Thank you so much for your ongoing support of our channel. We do really appreciate our fans and hope that you'll continue to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already or even donate using the link in our description. We make these raid intel and black box videos for you, and your support genuinely drives us each week, which allows you to quickly complete the raids and collect the black boxes as soon as the Project Titan week begins. For critical this week, the modifiers will be Injuries Bleed, Juggler, and Technique Slowdown. And using the intel skips, you can begin by destroying four panels at Satellite Dish. This will open up the circle for Bow at the chemical refinery, and beating this boss will allow you to head into Sector 2. For Gargoyle, you'll need to press four nodes simultaneously. Two at Forgotten Sanctuary, and two at Testing Zone, and Supercomputer will require you to defend the node at the Bunker of Missile Site Ruins. You can now fight both the Titans in Sector 2, Gargoyle at Testing Zone, and Supercomputer at the Building in the Sea, before moving into Sector 3. Cerberus involves collecting one intel from Red Phoenix, then you can interrogate the Breacher at Scandia Mine. Next, you can input the password he gives you into the node at the bottom of Lava Duct, and finally you can defend the node at the top of Lava Duct. Doing all of these tasks will give you access to Cerberus at the top of Lava Shield, where you can complete the critical raid. And if you're looking for the black box raid chests on critical this week, there are two black boxes in Sector 1, the first at Ancient Harbour and the other at Chemical Refinery. Then there'll be two more in Sector 2, the first at Salamander and the other one being at Missile Site Ruins. And finally there's two more boxes in Sector 3, the first at Red Phoenix with the last being at Lava Duct. In summary, we think the modifiers are a decent mix this week, and hopefully shouldn't be too hard for most experienced squads. Do remember to carry as many syringes as possible, and even craft some while travelling between sectors, because it's a great way to deal with the bleeding injuries. Also, depending on your playstyle, the most likely other modifier to cause bother this week will be Juggler, but even then it can be overcome in various ways, with the most obvious being to switch weapons when you pick up ammo, whenever you remember. As for the intel trail, it's not too bad again this week, with Sector 2 being a pretty quick gather for both Titans, if you plan it well. For example, you could split up the squad and do nodes for Gargoyle, and then just do the hack and defend as a team after you've beaten Gargoyle and en route to Supercomputer. The other good part of this raid is that it's not too lengthy in Sector 3 either, but do be aware that the hack and defend at Lava Duct can be quite hard if the whole squad isn't ready for it. But as always, if you do have any problems please comment below, and we'll try to help out so that you can finish the raid and earn those rewards. Moving on to regular and low, there are no modifiers and it does just use last week's critical intel and black box locations. To start, defend the smoky node at Heliport, which will give you access to Bow at the chemical refinery, and after beating the tank Titan you can move into Sector 2. Gargoyle requires two intels at Salamander, then the interrogation of the sniper at Camp Phoenix, and lastly inputting the password he gives you into the node at Testing Zone, where you can also take on the flying Titan and Supercomputer just requires simultaneously pressing four nodes at Missile Site Ruins to give you access to Quantum at the building in the sea. Once you've beaten the two Titans in Sector 2, you can progress into Sector 3. Cerberus requires two intels at Red Phoenix and another two intels at Scandia Mine, where one can be accessed with your drone in the cave near B2's entrance, and the second needs to be picked up. Now you need to destroy three panels of Prototype Workshop, before finally putting four hands on nodes at no man's land. All of those tasks will give you access to Cerberus at the top of Lava Shield, where you can complete the regular and low raids. And if you're looking for the raid chests on regular or low this week, there are two black boxes in Sector 1, the first at Chemical Refinery and the other at Heliport. Then there'll be two more boxes in Sector 2, the first at Camp Phoenix and the other at Missile Site Ruins, and finally there's two in Sector 3 the first at Prototype Workshop, with the last one being at No Man's Land. That's all for now. We hope you've enjoyed our Intel and Black Box video enough to leave a like and comment. 
plus subscribe or donate if you haven't already. Please do also let your friends know about our channel, because all of your support genuinely drives us to make our content. So until next time, peace out, the unlucky lads.